Hey guys, John here, and we're back inside my toy room. Looking at Primal Clash. There's a little bit of Jurassic Park in here. And there's one figure of The Rock. I just had to put the Jurassic Park and The Rock somewhere. And figured they'd fit in with the uh, Primal Clash figures down here. Yeah, there's The Rock on the back with the knife. Today we're going to be talking about the Switchblade from Mask. Yes, it's Miles Mayhem, and he's bringing out his Team Venom. Venom is awesome. The Switchblade is awesome. Goes from helicopter to airplane. Really cool. But before we get into that, let me give a quick shout out to the guys at Vintage Rebellion Podcast. Find them on YouTube and all your podcast like cool places where you go. Because these guys are awesome. The Switchblade Helicopter Airplane with Miles Mayhem action figure. Switchblade Helicopter conventional mode. Switchblade Airplane action mode. We really do care. Kenner products. You can write to them if you got something wrong. Helmet is removable from action figure. Figure will bend at the knees, hips, arms, head will turn. Open cockpit and bend action figure at the hips to place in seat as shown. Rotate tail to lock insert bomb. Label placements. It's got vehicle operation, conventional mode. Tells you how to transform it from airplane to helicopter. Look at that. Every detail you could ever need is here. Press down on the rotor release button side behind cockpit to extend. Push down on the landing pods to lower them. It's all manual stuff there. Push the wings back towards aircraft and lock in position. Landing pod guns into landing pods to lock. Push the front fin machine guns back into the front fins to lock. Push the button on the side to activate the rotor blades. Yes, the rotor blades actually work on this, just like the Dragonfly from G.I. Joe. Lift, and this is like vehicle operation action mode. It's how to transform from helicopter to jet. And when you go to for, when you go to jet mode, it's like awesome because it has like all these pop-out action things that happen. It's not manual. It's pretty cool. Guns pop out, wings fly forward. It's like total action-packed mayhem, <laughs> just like Miles Mayhem. <laughs> yeah, it's got a bomb on the bottom, so you can blow stuff up. It's not a real bomb, it's just a plastic one, so don't worry. It's fake. And then, like, if it falls apart, they have all the ways on how to reassemble it. So, like, you didn't have to figure this out on your own if you're, like, restoring one. You could just get the instructions and know exactly how to do it. How to rebuild one if you wanted to. It's really cool. I like having the instructions and everything. It's a really neat addition to it. So, yeah, pretty cool. This is as complete as can be. I mean, the box could be in better shape. I'll show you that later. Miles Mayhem with his helmet here. Pretty cool. Hi, I'm Miles Mayhem. Miles has lots of, like, light blue trim, light blue gloves. He's got gold around him like an officer of the military. Light blue shirt with a black tie underneath. He's got a black holster for a pistol on his leg. My Miles has dark gray hair that goes with the plane, but he also came with light gray hair. So there were two variations to his hair here. But the light gray, his chest has been faded and the gold is worn away, so... It's kind of, um, since this one, all the paint is nice, I'm keeping him with the, with the, with the switchblade. Because he's so minty perfect as compared to that one with light gray hair. But I keep the one with light gray hair around just to show the uh, variation. His helmet pops on really nice. This is a cool looking helmet. The red and black against the blue really makes it pop. It's very cartoon accurate, so this is a cool 
Cool figure. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's uh, focus in here and get on the, the helicopter. Look at this thing. Nice large cockpit, sweeping wings on the side. This is like a Blue Thunder Airwolf type helicopter. These like chrome accents and everything. It's not like any helicopter you've ever seen. It's like, you know, you could be flying this around and be all do 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 you know, like it's not airwolf, sorry. And you press this button over here on the side and look at that. The helicopter blades spin. Oh, it's so cool. Although you couldn't really do that when you're like as a kid you wanted to hang on to it like this but of course the helicopter blade would hit you in the hand so you're like well i gotta try to hold on to it under here and reach up with my thumb somehow and i can't like grip it it's like Ugh, what am i doing i'm gonna duh. so really you had to you had to use two hands you had to fly it like this with your hands and then push this in with your other foot finger there's no there's no one-handed operation here like you could with the Dragonfly with G.I. Joe. I just don't think it works that way. Pretty cool, though. Anyways, yeah, really big cockpit here. We can get this open, maybe. It latches really well. <laughs> there we go. We got this open, finally. Uh, and Miles Mayhem can sit down. And go inside the switchblade. I'm sitting there. He's gonna be easy to be like he's like, I'm driving. I'm driving. Whoa, no, oh, no, oh, my landing gear fell. <laughs> but yeah, and it's really nice because with this large clear cockpit, you can see Miles Mayhem from every direction. Both sides, the front, the top. It's like this is the benefit of having such a large canopy that's see-through. And the red tint. So unique, so unusual to a toy, so unique to this one. Really cool. Let's flip it into jet mode. Flip the helicopter blades up, pop them down inside. Then you can flip the tail up and check this out. When the tail goes through and, can, and latches those helicopter blades in, chink! The wings pop out. Du, 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 du. We're ready. You know, and these guns popped out. I don't know if you saw that too, but they did. They popped out. It was awesome. Now you got to push this little button back here and the machine guns come out. Doom. And it's very sensitive. Watch. Doom. <laughs> Barely touch them. And you pop those landing gear up and now you've got machine guns on the wings. Machine guns on the front. And Miles Mayhem sitting in there looking all cool. This is an awesome jet. Really, really awesome. So basically, he can hover and fly around in helicopter mode. And then when he really has to take off and get out of there, switches to jet mode and disappears. Oh, whoops. Yeah, um, oops. Yeah, there we go. We'll hang on to it down here. Jet mode, flying away, getting away from Matt Tracker. Because I got to drop a bomb. Let's do the bomb. There's a red bomb underneath here. You hit this little latch by my thumb and doop, it blows up something. Drops right down on top of Dusty Hayes' head. Blows up the gator. You're like, oh no, Dusty blew up. There's a little peg there. You stick the back of it in the peg, and then you rotate this around till you got the front little clip, and you just pop it in. And that's how you put it back in. Pretty simple. Yeah. So that's the awesome jet mode for the Switchblade. Kind of doesn't really have a landing gear or stand, so you just got to set it down, I guess. Ooh, poof. Yeah. <laughs> and the instructions there. So, yeah, let's... um. I guess we'll move on to my really, really destroyed box. This box, I got, it did come with a box when I bought it. Um, this was an eBay win, an auction. 
I had been trying for weeks before I got one in the price range that I, that I liked, that I was comfortable with, because these can be quite expensive. And it's always missing the bomb. So, yeah, so my box from the front, the Switchblade picture on the front of the box looks pretty good. I'm, I'm okay with that. But the side flaps are completely destroyed, and they're curved. So the box won't stand up, for one, because the side flaps in, in the bottom and top are curved. They're worn out. The pictures are awesome, though, on this thing. Look at that artwork. I love it. I love it. So I'm, I'm, I'm wondering, like, what do you do to restore? Do I, like, look how bad that is. It's, like, so bad. It's so rough and ripped and... Like, the cardboard itself is basically shredded and coming apart. And it's so bad that it's almost not worth even having. It's definitely pretty much a worthless box. So I could basically do whatever I want with it. Oh, here's the little blurb down there. Join Mask! Mobile Armored Strike Command! Where ordinary vehicles and men become an awesome fighting team to wage battle against Venom, the vicious evil network of mayhem. Mask, where illusion is the ultimate weapon. Kenner. But I could fold these in, see? Like like that, and, and like that, and maybe fold the big flap in, and then have it just a flat piece of cardboard, so it'd look like that. Or, or should I actually try to make it a square box again and, like, glue, glue flat panels so that doesn't curve and pop up to the inside of the box? Like, like what, what restoration method do you think is better? Do you think I should glue something to it to make sure it's flat? Or should I just fold it all in, the, in on itself and just have the front picture as the uh, display piece, you know? I don't know. I don't know. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. That's the dilemma. Hit me up in the comments below. What do you think I should do with that box? How should I restore it? How should I display it? And, uh, yeah. Hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. We have more coming up later this week. Lots of stuff came in just the last couple days. And we got a lot more coming down the pipe. So, all right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. If you want a switchblade, you know, I think you got to get on eBay. <laughs> They're really cool. Just look for those pieces. The chrome parts on top, the orange bomb on the bottom. Uh, the wings and the helicopter blades can simply attach to it. So, you know, those those will come off. You will, we could be missing those. But, um, yeah. with the uh, Without the box, with all the stuff included, it's probably going to run you... 100 120 um but you can get them down as low as like 60 dollars and a lot lower if you're missing pieces so um it's it's fairly common i think all the kids wanted this all the kids bought this so it's not as rare to find one intact you know all right thanks guys we'll see you later bye